What's going on you guys and welcome back to a different perspective if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy So this morning I came across a young lady on TikTok Look man when you wake up and you're laying in bed scrolling through TikTok when you're a content creator and you do what I do It may not be a bad thing <laughs> But I spent a couple hours on there might have been on there too long But nonetheless I found a good bit of content from this young lady and we're gonna check out what she has to say I don't want to spoil it because she gonna say enough but we're gonna talk about it have a serious conversation and we're gonna learn something today y'all ready i'm ready let's go if you are single this valentine's day just remember that most women who are in relationships i've never been in a relationship before and the thing that just keeps me going is that i know deep down in my heart that no relationship with a man could ever be that great like like, there's no way I refuse to believe it because when you think about it very few men have emotional intelligence I'm sure there's at least one who does I've never met them, but like maybe there's at least one uh, of course yeah. <laughs> Of course you haven't met a man that has emotional intelligence because you, you said yourself that you've never been in Relationship I have read multiple books on Emotional intelligence and not to toot my own horn But hey if you were to meet me you would meet an emotionally intelligent man, right? <laughs> I'm not perfect, but I've done the research, right? And I've embodied the information. <sighs> Listen to her, though. You know, I see all these women in seemingly happy relationships, but when I think about... Listen to it, like, listen very closely to the words that she's saying. She says she sees all these women in seemingly happy relationships, meaning that they seem to be happy, but are they? Listen to her closely. Maybe there's at least one. But you know, I see all these women in seemingly happy relationships, but when I think about it, I'm like, hmm, since when are men thoughtful? Since when are they considerate? Since when do they acknowledge their privilege and position as a man in society and how that affects the way that they see and treat the women in their lives? Like, since when do men do that? So, what do men actually have to offer to women besides calling them beautiful and having sex? Like, and that helps me sleep at night. The fact that I know that nobody's relationship with a man is actually that great. The stuff that she has to tell herself so that she can sleep well at night when really she's lonely and she's sad how can she have such a negative opinion on men when she's never even been in a relationship with one I don't understand the ideology like there are women who are probably gonna have to remind their boyfriends that it's Valentine's Day how sad is that <clears throat> and beg to be gifted flowers how sad is that at least you have a boyfriend, right? <laughs> she said there's there's women that's going to have to beg their men to be gifted flowers. How sad is that? <laughs> there are plenty of men out here that did not forget that there was Valentine's Day and they went all out for their women. There's plenty of men who were thoughtful and gave the women those big rose bears on Valentine's Day. She just sad, angry, and upset because she ain't got no man. And with that type of attitude, who would want to be with her? If you just hate men, just say that. I just did a really brave thing. I changed my bio to misandrist because I hate whenever people comment on my videos being like, uh, sounds like you hate men. Like, are you just a feminist man hater? And they try to use it as an insult. And I'm here to let everybody know that it's not an insult. I do hate men and I'm really proud of it. <laughs> Well, there you go. She said it. <laughs> and she's proud of it, too. See, that's the thing, though. See, it's cool. She want to come out and admit that she hate men. Perfectly fine. Do you. Live your life. But when you have a platform and you're spewing this hatred out there into the world, because when you look back on the comments of the post that she made, the original post, there were so many women in the comment section that was agreeing with her. On top of that, the only ones that she would really participate in acknowledging were the people that were agreeing with her. When you have a platform and you're putting this type of information out there as if it's okay, you're doing more harm than you are good. What she is doing is trying to recruit people to be over to her side. This negative Nancy. This lonely, bitter individual. Don't do that. Not everybody wants to be lonely and miserable. Don't try to recruit people to be lonely and miserable like you. That's not a good look. This is what she posted underneath her video. She says, 
please don't comment to tell me to be more positive and open. It's not helpful and somewhat implies that it's my fault the men I meet aren't good. See how negative she is? She's telling people not to tell her to be more positive and open. <laughs> wow. She said it also implies that it's my fault that the men I meet aren't good. Huh? Look, this is the way it works. You can only attract someone or something that's vibrating at the same frequency you are. And she's putting out bad vibes. She best to be expected to receive bad vibes. Best believe. Man. Yep, a ton of women in relationships are only in them for status. And almost all are unhappy. It's so sad, honestly. See this mess right here? This is prime example of what happened when certain people that shouldn't have platforms have platforms. You spewing out this type of mess and other people think that it's perfectly acceptable and okay. Look. If so many women were unhappy being in relationships, they wouldn't get into relationships in the first place. People would not strive to ever get married. See, what, ha what this really shows is a strong degree of weakness. Every person, every adult that has ever lived understands that life is tough. Life is difficult. Life is not easy. There isn't a single relationship on this planet that is perfect. But some people rather experience the ups and downs, the good and bad, the happy and sad of being with someone else rather than experiencing all the lows by themselves. See, well, you might think, well, heck, since there are people out here that feel this way, then it's perfectly acceptable for those people to have these platforms so they all can conjugate together and, and spew this type of information to one another. No. See, the issue with that is the fact that the human experience is one of connection. That without it, we are doomed. We're dooming ourselves and we're dooming our society as a whole. To be able to connect with another person outside of yourself is so important. Especially romantically. It's the most important. This is ridiculous. Like this comment right here. Look, look at this. She likes this comment, doesn't like this comment, and then follows with liking and commenting on this comment. This first one goes, not me wanting to have a chill evening with him, and he forgot it was V-Day, Valentine's Day, and proceeds to gaslight me for unrealistic expectations. She liked that comment. This next one, I'm a firm believer that as women, the more knowledge we have, the more single we are. And really that statement goes true for just about anybody, because the more you're aware, the less you put up with. Um, like we know too much of how much of a struggle it can be. She didn't comment or like on this one. In this one right here, the way you say it so calmly, you have gone through all the E stages of grief and, and finally accepted that these straight cis men are just disappointing. And then she comments, LOL. I can't stand that term. Straight cis men, cis men, all that mess. That junk don't sound straight. That term cis, don't, that's just me though. I genuinely believe that TikTok is suppressing me. And I don't say this as somebody who believes her content deserves to be seen because it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, speak that truth. But I say this as somebody with over 30,000 followers that it's a bit odd that my videos would just get 20 views. Like what's up with that? Are these people who are making seven second videos, are they really taking over the app that there's just no more room for everybody else? Because I'm a little confused. What was that? See? The harm that she is doing by creating the content that she is. I don't know if she's joking or what, but if it don't sound like a joke, 
if it ain't coming out there as a blatant joke, then you don't really need to be putting it out there because some folks will accept it to be truth and facts. Look, she's being suppressed for a reason. She's doing more harm than good. This is what I'm talking about, about not everybody need to be having platforms and voicing their opinion. Look at this mess right here. It says, when eating along at a restaurant and enjoying your own company is your favorite thing to do. She know darn well she would really like for there to be a man right there instead of this phone recording her. Somebody that she can have a conversation with. <sighs> If this don't look like fake happiness and joy to me, what? <laughs> look at this. She really want folks to believe that she is happy being alone. For her to speak so negatively about men is proof that she is miserable. When you are genuinely happy, you speak no ill will of no one. You talk down upon no one. Man, I'll leave y'all thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. I can't tell you no more. Y'all know what time it is. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, you can follow your boy on the ground, man, Twitter at Artie Kicks, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See you.